Thanks for checking out my micro drawings channel. Here you can see the display that the picture goes in uh, when I get finished. It's a two by three inch thick acrylic. And I'll show that again at the end how it goes together. There's a quarter, my Copic multi-liner and my uh, a pencil, regular wood pencil for scale. So I'm gonna start off with Linus drawing in his nose and his eyes and uh, working on his face first. And I'll just let you watch for a while. So I've got Linus and Snoopy's heads done, and now I've just got a lot of pumpkin patch to put in. Uh, some leaves and pumpkins, and there's the quarter for scale. So again, thanks for checking out the channel. Please subscribe, and please share with others. And again, at the end, I'll show the case that the uh, picture is displayed in, so you can see how that goes together. All right, so pretty much drawn in. There's the quarter for scale. You can see it pretty much covers up the whole little scene. Next up, I've got my Copic sketch markers. I don't use this broad chisel point. I use the fine tip on the other end. And I'm using an acid-free uh, art paper. This one doesn't bleed very much, so the ink, I can uh, pretty much pinpoint it with that fine tip. It just doesn't... Uh, bleed into the paper too much so there goes the skin tone and then i'll work down onto linus's shirt and the pumpkin and the leaves for the leaves i use two different tones of green um, i typically don't blend a lot on the the cartoon pictures it's more the li um, more lifelike pictures that i do or the sometimes the Fortnite skins because there's a lot more detail going on there so please enjoy uh while i color
So I, I don't use this instrument too much. It's a cool shadow. You know, I'm trying to add a little bit of, of shadow and three dimensionality to the picture. So I tried it, but it, it didn't end up adding a whole lot. It just a little nuance of uh, some shadowing, but thought I'd give it a try. Again, thanks for watching. And you'll see here in just a second after I get the, the date on there. And it is the 14th of September. There we go. And you can see again, compared to the quarter, approximately the size of a quarter. Again, it doesn't cover it up totally, but pretty close. So next up, I've got these acrylic displays. Um, this one particular is from Isaac Jacobs. And you can see how the magnets are embedded there. And so it just kind of snaps together. There's the picture cut to size. And then I just snap it on. And there it is. So you can interchange it. I think it's a pretty neat way to display them. Thanks again. Have a great day.